what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to talk about gaslighting and two forms of gaslighting now a lot of times we're used to being gaslighted by the narcissist themselves but sometimes gaslighting doesn't always come directly from the narcissist but from someone close to the narcissist they do this because of their close relationship to the narc and they're kind of speaking up for the narcissist because of how it's going to make them look and what i mean by that is I'm going to give y'all an example based on my own experience, of course. So in the past, this happened a long time ago before I even know what narcissism was. I was gaslighted by my narcissistic ex's mother. And the way she gaslighted me was during the time we had broken up, which was often because he would pull these sudden disappearing acts. Of course, he would always go and stay with his mother when we're not together. And when he would stay with his mother, I would go by to visit so she can see the kids. And she would always bring up this same conversation to kind of like justify me still being there. But the only time that this would come up is when she had other company at her house and when I'm there. But when it was just she and I together alone or me, her and him, the narcissist, her narcissistic son, she would never bring it up because I guess she felt like she didn't need to because my presence alone, you know, gave her, you know, all the proof in the world, which still doesn't really prove anything. Again, I would only come to her house to bring the kids by so she can see her grandkids, not because I was running behind him. But this is the image that she wanted to create for people on the outside looking in. She used to always say this thing that I often question, not myself, but her. Why is she making this statement all the time to people? She would say, no matter how much he do wrong or make her mad, piss her off or leave the house or stay away for a long time. She was talking about her son. She was like, she would never leave him. Now, she was discussing our relationship with other people. She said she would never leave him. He can burn the house down and leave them without a roof over her head, her and the kids. And no matter what, he can do no wrong. She would never leave him. And it got to the point where I had to finally ask her, like, why are you saying this? Because I never told you that. I never spoke to you about any of this stuff that you're telling other people. And so that is a form of gaslighting from another individual that is close to the narcissist. It can be the narcissist's parents. It can be a narcissist's family member, friends, or coworkers. Because that's just how close they are to the narc. And it's like, they're not going to let the narcissist, you know, their bad behavior ruin how it makes them look to other people so that was my experience was being with being gaslighted in the past in the far far past but i just wanted to use that example to show y'all that it's not always a narcissist doing the gaslighting it's sometimes someone close to them and the reasons being that they do this to you is because they're trying to you know protect their image and what they want people to see them as like dang i must have a good son because no matter how bad he treat women, they will never leave him alone. And even though I never agreed to saying that because I didn't say that to her, you know, she would always say it. And I, I, I finally, you know, I finally said to myself, well, the only reason why she's repeating this all the time to people is because I allow her to do it. See, narcissists will do only so much to you in public as long as you remain silent. And the whole while she was gaslighting me. She was trying to make me believe that I felt that way. And at the same time, she wanted other people to see me as being this weak individual that don't know when I'm being mistreated by a man. So again, that's my experience with being gaslighted from my ex's mother in the past. And I kind of hesitated to tell y'all this story because she's passed away. That's in the past, you know, and she had passed away some years back. But still in all, it happened. And I'm telling y'all based on my own personal experience. Now, another form of gaslighting is directly from a narcissistic parent, you know, to their own child. Now, I know that a lot of y'all are probably familiar with the rapper T.I. And it came out a little while back, you know, social media brought it to the spotlight that he had went on a talk show. And I forgot what talk show he went on, but he said that he goes with his daughter to her doctor's appointment to go see her OBG or her gynecologist or whatever, because he wants to know. He wants to be the first to know as soon as she sees the doctor what's going on with her body and have she been sexually active. And I'm like, what the hell? So a lot of people were taken back by this. And I mean, it was all on 
the internet and it was all you know a lot of bloggers you know they spoke about this in their videos on youtube and i was like why would he do something like that like you know of course it's gonna get back to his daughter and she was just so embarrassed by it and i feel so sorry for that girl and so recently she tweeted you know some things and it just seems subliminal but it also kind of pointed towards him like if she still hurt about this like i can't believe you embarrassed me not only you do it but you went on national tv and told the whole world that you come to the doctor with me because you want to know am i being sexually active like you you're such a control freak you're such a narcissist that you just got to let everybody know that you're in control at all times and so she tweeted recently i think about a couple of days ago that I, I don't even have a tweet in front of me and I don't want to misquote her, but she she made a statement that just kind of seemed like she's letting people know she's still hurt by this is still bothering her and their relationship will never be the same. It's just kind of like she's just not ever going to have that good relationship with her dad because of this. But she's healing and she's moving forward with her life. So that's what the tweet seemed like she was saying. And people spoke on it online and a lot of people he's getting a lot of backlash from it. So he wanted to clean it up being a narcissist. And kind of like make it seem like that. Well, she's not talking about me. So y'all need to stop jumping to conclusions and mind y'all own business. So what he did was made a statement and said, I got permission for my daughter to speak on this to let everybody know that y'all don't know what you're talking about. She was not talking about me. His son even jumped in on the conversation and was like, that's why you have to be specific when you're tweeting things. Because when you're a celebrity, a lot of people are going to be reading in between the lines and they're going to come to their own conclusions. And she was like, first of all, I'm not a celebrity and I have the right to tweet what I want to tweet and tweet my feelings. And T.I. was like, yeah, but you got to let the people know that you're not talking about me. When we know clearly that he, she was talking about him. Now that is a sign of gaslighting. He gaslighted her to the point where he made her retract her statement on Twitter and just completely deny the fact that she's talking about him. When we know she's talking about somebody. I mean, that's what people do on Twitter. You're talking about somebody. People throw subliminal tweets out all day and they're talking about somebody. So her brother was like, you need to be specific and say who it is you're speaking about or people are going to jump to conclusion and think you're talking about dad. Well, she is. And we know that. Come on now. So it's like she just denied it. And the child denied it because of how he was making her feel crazy. Like you wasn't talking about me, huh? See, that's the thing that narcissists do when they're gaslighting you. They think they have you to the point where they can get you to believe thoughts that you don't really even feel, you know. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you soon.